Happy Embolk and Happy February Witches. Today's card poll is from the Witch Oracle card deck. Written by Angie Sullins. Artwork is by Silas Tabal. Today's note from the Witch's Almanac is that the moon is in Libra. Today is Olmlek Eve or Embolk. It's also called Candle Mass, the Feast of Bridget. All of these feasts can be celebrated within the next few days, depending on which pantheon you follow. The Trailblazer. This is a pioneering moment. In order to chart where you're going and empower the pathmaking, you must know your place, woman. Only when you know your deservedness and embody your inherent value can you move with the confidence and radiance required to create your own path. The woman in total control of herself has shifted her allegiance from pleasing to pleasure, from subservient to subversive. Through the very act of claiming her inner knowing as her highest authority, she's willing to abandon everyone else's expectations and approval before she'll abandon herself. She has stopped fearing her path and started blazing it, loyal to the visions in her head and the longing of her heart. She trusts her intuition to guide her to the next right thing for her even when she can't see the entire path or explain it to a mind of logic. Stop looking for footprints and those who have gone before you. Don't settle for how it has been for others. Blaze your own trail. All of our lives we've been told that this is polite and that is polite or this is ladylike or act like a gentleman. For myself personally, this trailblazer is really talking about more of removing the old traditions that we have followed, the, the gender specific roles, the women stay home and take care of the children, a woman should be seen and not heard, all of that crap, okay? We need to start looking outside of those traditions. And we need to start questioning those traditions. Why do we do it? Well, it's because everybody else did it before us. Great. I don't want to follow in everyone else's footsteps. I would rather blaze my own trail and make it right for me. But what's right for me doesn't necessarily mean it's right for other people around us. It's time to look at that programming that we've been given all of our lives and start believing in ourselves and knowing that we can do anything we set our mind to, regardless of whether or not people agree or disagree or whether or not they're neutral. You set your dreams. You have your goals. You follow them.